All right, guys, I want to take a minute and show you how I set up my echo sounder for my NSS Evo 3. What I like to do is put my gain on auto to get started, my color at zero. Up here in my menu, I'm going to go to advanced, noise rejection off. I don't like noise rejection ever. I'd rather have a little noise on the screen than squash my returns by turning the filter on. TBG is zero, scroll speed normal, pink speed, you want to crank it up all the way up. TVG clears up the top few feet. So, for instance, if we go up to one, two, you'll start to see the returns disappear higher up in the water column. I still will keep it at zero because I don't want to really miss anything. All right, with those all set, we're going to back out here. Frequency is 200. We'll leave it at a single frequency for right now. My gain is set at auto color is zero. I'm going to go ahead and turn my color up. Okay. In this palette, yellow is the strongest return. So you can see yellow is the bottom. So these are solid, solid marks here. These are air bladders and fish. These should be yellow because we know those are good returns. Our solid color is yellow. So I want some yellow in my arches. So I'm going to turn my color up. Until I start to see yellow in them. Those arches need to start turning yellow. Okay, there we go. We got some good strong yellow in there. I don't want it so high that there's solid yellow and there's no other colors in there. This is too high. See how they're just solid yellow? That's no good. You want to see almost every color of the palette throughout that return, with yellow being the strongest and in the center. See, we get a little bit of the blues, a little bit of the oranges. It's not just a solid yellow. 75% good place to leave it really my gain is auto now that doesn't mean it's gonna limit itself by trying to keep it you know simple for you that's not how the auto works here it actually increases the gain in deeper water and reduces it in shallow water to keep the screen looking the same so your arches will look the same. It's not like the auto will be working all day and your, your arches are going to change and your returns are going to change and it's going to confuse you. There's none of that going on at all. I really like the auto. I think it's a really great feature on these machines. Range, auto as well. If you're fishing in say 37 feet of water like we are right now and you're staying in 37 feet all day long, set it to a manual range. For instance, Forty feet looks good, but we're not using all the screens, so we can go to a custom here. Let's hit custom. We're on the lower level here, sixty. So let's go to let's do thirty-five. Okay, okay. Now we're using the entire screen. Depth with the thirty-six here, so we're slightly off the page, but you can see how we're using the entire. Uh, meet here of our screen. Let's do it to 38 right now. Custom. Where are we at? Uh, so we'll do 39. Okay. So if we were going to stay in this depth all day, that would be a really good place to leave it. Using the entire screen, there's no sense in leaving it in auto range where it might be a, uh, you know, too much bottom shown so you're not taking advantage of your big screen. Other than that, I leave it in auto. So let's go ahead and set our range back to auto. Just check the box. There you go, there are my basic settings right there. All right, let me show you the A scope here in the menu, more options. A scope, this is the enhanced right now that I'm using. We could turn it off, no A scope at all. Regular. This is the one that we've had for a lot of years. Enhanced. I really like this one here. We can also change the appearance. We can go to line, which is just the outside line of the A scope. Fill, which is solid gray. And color, which uses every color of the palette. This is my favorite here. We can also use a horizontal, which does the bottom of the screen. There's the full color. To change the appearance just like we did before fill and line 
Let's go back. I'll, I'll leave it on enhanced. And color. Back. Okay, we got all kinds of neat stuff here. We can split the screen. Bottom lock. You can see the numbers are reversed here. 0, 10, 20, 30. It's locks on the bottom. We have no split. We can do zoom. And if you turn the knob, you can see how we can zoom in wherever we'd like with the knob. We can even move the band up and down. Keep it wherever you would like. Okay, let's go no split again. Flasher. Classic flasher. Good for running on plane speeds when you're not sure if you're gonna run on shallow water or not. It shows you instant returns that are under your transducer right now. Okay, we have our down scan overlay. This will take our down scan sonar and lay it on top of our palette here in our 2D sonar. But to be honest, with the new fish reveal, we kind of take this feature away. So we can turn it on so you can see. There's our down scan on the bottom. With our fish returns, bait, fish, good hard returns with our down scan on the bottom. Let's go back. Pause, this just pauses our sonar here. This is really good to do if you're gonna sit in your driveway and work on your machine. Uh, if you have a chirp transducer, it's never good to run them for a long time out of the water. They can overheat and be damaged. So that's why you have that pause option. Fish ID off. Symbols little fish symbols you don't need that depth just puts a depth number at each mark oh, it didn't go to depth. the symbols show the little fish here symbols but you don't need that really depths you can see each return will have a number for the depths both is the fish symbols and the numbers let's turn that back off fish ID beeps there's our alarms. On a day like today, it'll be going off all day long. But this is actually a really good feature, especially when we're in open water and we're looking for single marks. With a lot of bait like this, it would just go off all day, so I would turn that off. All right, color marker. We'll select that. And what this lets us do is take any color in the palette and exchange it with another color. So let's say we want all the yellows and the strong returns to be purple. There they are, they're all purple. Here's a selection of your colors here. Red, all my strong returns look red, blue. You can customize your palette further with this feature. Let me go ahead and put those back. Color erase, it lets us remove any color from the palette. So we can remove the yellows if we want. This is really nice if you're marking a thermocline Actually, in this situation, you can see the heavier water in blue down here. We can remove that if we wanted to. We come down here and find our blues. Let's remove it out of there. You can see it going away. So yeah, you can clean it up a little better if you'd like. Let's put those back. All right, here are our more options. Here's our palette. This is a palette I like, one. It's a great palette. Six is also another favorite of mine. You like the dark backgrounds. You know, a lot of deep blue saltwater fishermen like these dark backgrounds. Red, all kinds of choices here. Bottom coloring. Bottom coloring. Colors the entire bottom here brown. This is a good feature for fish that hold tight to the bottom, like you're seeing here. It really makes them stick out because it only covers the bottom. Flounder fishermen, the fish laying on the bottom, they look a lot like that. So this is a good feature for that. Back. Back. Source. We could pick the transducer we're using. I have several on this system. I have my high chirp transducer selected now. Now I can go into frequencies. 
This particular transducer is 200 kilohertz, high chirp on this channel, or custom. Custom, we can pick the frequency we like. 170 is one I like. Let's see what that looks like. That feature is only available with certain chirp transducers. Let's go back to high chirp. All right, now what are we looking at on the screen here, okay? This is thousands and thousands of thread fin shad. Underneath, these are striped bass, these are perch, these are catfish. Anything down here eating these thread fins. You can clearly see the difference between the clouds of bait and the individual arches. Those are the air bladders and these larger fish. Over here you have your temperature, the frequency you're in, which channel you selected. Our menu is here. Now to select your menu, you notice this box is orange around the panel of the echo sounder. If I touch here on the bar, you can see the orange is around there. So now if I hit menu, it's going to look different because it's going to be the bar menu. So make sure you've highlighted your sonar panel here before you go into menu, otherwise you won't be able to get into it. This is a very complex machine, but don't be afraid of it. Get in here and smash buttons. Play with it. Really get to know it. Reading a book on it or even searching online to find awesome videos like these will only take you so far. You've got to get out there and play with the machine. You can't hurt it just by touching buttons, I promise you. You can always go back to the default settings.